What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make a gym with an interior. Now you actually put two exclamation points when normally I only put one. Because it has an interior, which is always exciting. And I only realized, like, um, after I'd made the G's, I made the letters 3x4, not 3x5. Which doesn't make a difference, it's just a thing. Also... Reminder, this, um, does not apply to everyone, but I want to say something. On social media, mind your manners. Somebody's account that I know got hacked. So, the Turtles Instagram account and, and Skittles, they both got sent a DM which had a link to it, and I didn't fall for it because I knew what it was. Because this happened to me on my main Instagram. I actually fell for it, but then I realized afterwards what it was. So I changed my password. So yeah, just don't do not do that. Okay, let's show you inside. These are supposed to be weight balls, or medicine balls is what they're actually called. In the women's, you have a toilet. It's very up against the wall, but whatever. And you got some showers. So you can take a shower if you want. I've never actually been to a gym. Because I'm only less than... Is there an age limit for a gym? I don't know. The closest thing to a gym I've been in is the fitness room in my school. And that's not close to a gym. Well, technically it is kind of close. Because it has materials. No, you should put some stuff down here. I couldn't really think of much. I could only think of bench press and treadmills. This is a terrible treadmill, but it, it's a treadmill. <laughs> this should be a way to like run but not run, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, no, that's not it. Yeah, no, you can't do it. This is my best bench press. I actually like this. I, um, I have a couple designs from a world. I don't actually know what the designs are. I don't remember. I should have looked. But, yeah. So, the space you're in is a 26 by 17. And the materials we're needing are white concrete, light blue stained glass blocks, acacia doors, Gray concrete. This is for the exterior, by the way, in case you don't know the drill. Because I know I've had some new people since my last interior. <laughs> Block of quartz. Quartz stairs and quartz slabs. I believe that's it. Probably isn't, because you know me. But. Honestly, no, yeah, you should also get a block of iron. I actually need it because I don't have anything where the door should be right now. I just have an open gap, and you cannot place doors on nothing. Fun fact. Okay. Start at the front left-hand corner of your 26 by 17 grid. Cough, cough. If you made it, and count inwards diagonally to the right back-hand corner by one. Not placing anything yet. Now going right, you want to place three white concrete. Two acacia doors. Make sure it's block of, excuse me, block of iron under it. Then, going right place, 19 more white concrete. We're gonna work on the front, and then we will go to the other sides of the build. So, going left to right, you're gonna wanna place one white concrete, a light blue stained glass block, white concrete, skip over the doors, white concrete, light blue stained glass block, white concrete, two light blue stained glass blocks, one white concrete, oops, four light blue stained glass bo blocks, bo box, blocks, one white concrete, four light blue stained glass blocks, one white concrete, two light blue stained glass blocks, and a white concrete. Copy that row one more time, except you're going to want to actually place white concrete above the door. God, can I not English today. And then place two rows of white concrete on top of all of that. English is not my strong suit, apparently. I said something like, I cannot English in um, Spanish classes, so I'm not good at English. And someone was like, yeah, that's why I'm in Spanish class. <laughs> it's pretty true, though. You can't, you can't do good English, so I might as well learn a second language so you can speak that more fluently than your main language, which would kind of be embarrassing if that is how it works, but whatever. Okay. 
Take this entire left wall, and you're gonna wanna bring it backwards by 14 with white concrete. Do that to both sides, actually. So you're gonna wanna place pretty much just rows of white concrete that are as tall as the front, going backwards by 14. Now I didn't add any windows. You cannot. You can add windows on the front half, and on the um top, the top half that you can place windows everywhere on all four sides because we don't have anything really there. Also, we got our Wi-Fi fixed. Boy, did that take long enough. Do I have Wi-Fi on? I hope I do. Good, I do, because that would have meant that I would not have had it on since last night. when I went to bed. No, I remember, I do remember turning it back on. And then you can connect the back two walls together of this. It's everyone's favorite thing. Who's ever been to a gym? Also, while well, I was talking about that Instagram thing, Cough, cough, go follow me. I'm thinking, I don't know if I'm going to, I'm thinking about giving away a 20% off spirit for one item. Because I have a bunch of them. So yeah, I don't know if I will, I might. It just depends on how things go and how my thought process goes. Anyways, on top of the entire row of white concrete, which should be this row, you don't want to place a row of gray concrete. Hey, there's my most recent modern house in the back. Go check it out, cough, cough, after this video, cough, cough. Or you can stop midway through the video if you're not watching it for any purpose. But if you're building it, then I thank you for that, because that does not happen very often. Anyways, place a little great concrete around the outside of this. Actually, I don't know how often it happens. These tutorials do get a lot of views sometimes. Like Waffle House, 120 or 130. And I always I get compliments sometimes, and I really do appreciate that. People taking their time to leave good comments, and the other 50% of the population always leaves bad comments. But that's their that's their life, not mine. Once you've done that, you're going to want to get out your mm, upside down court or your courts, blocks, stairs, and slabs. Come to the, I don't actually know what block this is. Let me double check really quick. I think I do, yeah, okay. Come to the front left corner and count right by two and you're gonna replace a block of quartz. Place the upside down quartz stair on either side and on top of the left one, place two block of quartz and then a quartz stair. Going right of that quartz stair, place a block of quartz with a quartz stair. There you have almost your G. This is what you should have. You're going to want to place an upside down quartz stair on top of this upside down quartz stair facing inwards. There is your G. No, I'm going to just do a block, but I might as well change it up. Make it look a little bit more fancy. Do we even use the slabs? We don't. So I just told you to get them for no reason. So yeah, I don't, you don't need those. I originally did have them, but you never used them. Okay. Leaving a two block half on the bottom of this place, two block of quartz. Move up to the, up diagonally to the left and right with a block of quartz, and then bring up each quartz by one. From the bottom of this, leave another two block gap in place, three block of quartz moving up with a quartz stair on top facing right. You're gonna want to place another stair moving inwards from that, at, or diagonally inwards, diagonally downward from that, and then place a block of quartz diagonally down from that, and then place a block of quartz under it. You're gonna want to place two quartz stairs moving up diagonally again, up towards the right and towards, and under this um very right stair, you can place three block of quartz. There's gym, gym, gymnasium, whatever you want to call it. Gymnasium. I don't really know how big gyms are in real life, but anywho. Let's come to the front right hand corner and count inwards diagonally by one. And going left, you're going to want to place 19 white concrete. It should go behind the letters and it should stop. Oh. 
My apologies. You're gonna want to play 17, I believe. So it should stop in this row of white concrete right here. It should go completely behind the M, and then it should extend left by one. <clears throat> I thought it was 19 because I remember placing 19, but right, there's that window there, which ruins all of our lives. Not really, but I mean, we're gonna pretend like it does. <clears throat> okay. Going left to right on top of this, or right to left, doesn't matter. Place one white concrete, two light blue stained glass panes, one white concrete, four light blue stained glass blocks. Did I say panes the first time? I think I did. One white concrete, four light blue stained glass blocks, one white concrete, two light blue stained glass blocks, and a white concrete. Copy that row one more time. And place two rows of white concrete on top of it. I'm having very, very questionable thoughts. Okay, good. We did do that. <clears throat> now, you're going to want to bring the left row of this backwards by 14. Along with the right row. and then connect them together. So all of this is gonna want to be white concrete, so you're gonna add four rows on top. Today in my um, second period class, and I have seven periods, minus flex, which is just like time to do homework and stuff, and minus lunch, and is that it? I think that's it. And I forgot my sweatshirt in it, so. I was cold for the rest of the day. <laughs> That's always lovely. So yeah, I'm gonna go see if um I'm gonna go ask the teacher if he knows where he what where he was done with it. Or where it is, I should say. Because I cannot English today. Can't English any day of the week, but today is a no, terrible exception. It does not feel like a Tuesday, it feels like a Wednesday. Which is sad. Once you've done that, place of a gray concrete on top of the white concrete. And then you're going to want to extend it outwards on every side by one. A bunch of the teachers in my school left. So I've only met two. Wait, how many? I've only met one of the new teachers, I think. And then fill in the center of this with gray concrete. Because why not? zoning out. I like zoning out. I do it all the time. I don't know why I zone out a lot. Probably because when I have no one to talk to, I'll zone out and think about life. My Halloween display I'm gonna start, not this coming weekend, but the next weekend. Anyways, film this portion here with gray concrete as well. Just to close off everything, because you don't want any holes in your roof. Sighing. I don't know, there's no reason to sigh. Except for the fact that I have to sneeze. God, I hate that feeling. Okay. Once you've done that, there is your exterior complete. Now, for the interior, you're going to need white concrete, glowstone, birch doors, 
and birch signs for now. We're gonna need a lot more, but this is just the basics. Oh yeah, and also block of iron. Derp. I knew I was forgetting something really important. Okay, come to the top right corner, I guess. And you're gonna wanna go left or whatever. And you're gonna place two glowstone, two white concrete, 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 and two glowstone. Move backwards from any one of those glowstones with one glowstone, two white concrete, two glowstone, one white concrete, two glowstone, two white concrete, and two glowstone. And then you're gonna wanna kinda just fill it all in. Now, the reason it's one is because symmetry, and I was too lazy to redo all of it. Like, I mean, I could've um, switched it up a little bit to make it a little different, but I was too lazy. Now, if you finish this before me, the whole roof thing, lights, what you can actually do is fill, break the entire floor, which I've already done, and fill it in with block of iron. So right when I'm done this, I'll go and do that because, or fill it in with iron. Because that's the thing that I need to do. Don't mess up on this where there's that one row. Because I actually did on the first one when I was designing this. Now this build might take a while. This probably took me 40 minutes. If it takes longer than a hotel to make. We're going to have some serious issues. Not like issues, but just... Me questioning life. I mean, Applebee's. I get that being long. GameStop. I get that being long. What else is up there? The, um, big huge mansion, which was my first one ever. I get that being long. So, yeah, obviously, if now you just finished, obviously, you're gonna have to break the floor and replace it with block of iron. Everyone's favorite thing to do. Now, I don't actually have every block. I don't have to... I have every block destroyed. I have the red concrete so I know where walls are. Because I mean I don't really feel like having to calculate stuff. I am very cold. I do not have a blanket. Except for the blanket that Bailey has bitten a bunch of holes into. Not a good blanket. How is my mic I keep rattling this thing and I always feel like I'm turning it off because I have that paranoia. <clears throat> am I the only one who gets that? Probably. Am I the only one who ever tunes into my streams? Probably. Facing facts, but... Whatever, I've faced worse facts in my life. And also better. Always look at the bright side, guys. I have a 50-50 shot at doing that on most days. Anyways, come to the front left hand corner, front right hand corner, it does not matter, it is your personal preference. And you're gonna wanna count backwards to the, s okay, once you're filled in the floor, obviously. You're gonna count backwards to the seventh block, so this is the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. <clears throat> and coming towards the other side, you're gonna place two white concrete, a birch door, 16 white concrete. A birch door. And two white concrete. And then you can just fill in the rest of this wall with white concrete. This actually splits the entire build in half. So yeah, that's a fact. I guess. <coughs> Ah, phone! Stop it. Who's calling? Good old pharmacy.
Sorry about those weird noises coming from me drinking water. Shut up, phone. I need to find a way to mute that. Anyways, above the left door, you're gonna want to place a sign that says WOMEN. You don't have to do these in all caps. That's just what I do. So, yeah. Shut up, phone. Oh my god. Okay. Come into either one. It doesn't really matter. And you're gonna want to count left to the fifth block along the back wall and then move forward by four rows with white concrete. I'm trying to mute out the phone because I don't really know what it's saying, nor do I want to know what it is saying because I am trying to make a YouTube video. Do that on both. So the back corner count right by, I guess, four more. And place four rows of white concrete moving forward. So it should be a four block gap on the inside and then you should have a 12 block gap just like this. You're gonna wanna count five rows, you're gonna count I guess six rows from that wall. From either side you're gonna wanna place a white concrete walls that are, a white concrete wall that is separating it. It is a two block thick wall. That is because symmetry and you know, I just have to have it symmetrical. This actually was the part that took me the longest. The bathrooms. Or whatever you want to call them. So, for both of them, you're going to need a block of quartz, quartz stairs, birch trap door, stone button, smooth stone slab. Where are the those yeah that where are those stone birch doors cauldron water bottle and we're also gonna need lever white concrete white banners and I believe that's it so what I want you to do in one bathroom or bathroom slash locker room I want you to completely reverse in the other one so just flip it so come to the um i'm starting in the woman so s come to this wall and to the left of it you're gonna replace your two block of quartz in the corner with a quartz stair upside down an upside down quartz stair with a bird strap door on top place a stone button to the left of the top block now moving left row place three s four smooth stone slabs moving forward and one moving right then place the birch door. Place two as a stone on top of all these smooth stone. And then place one on top of the door as well. Okay, it has to face that way apparently. Too bad. I want you to face that way. Now come to the front left corner and place a cauldron with water in it. So what you just did, I want you to flip in the other bathroom. We're going to be moving back and forth a lot because of materials. So again, against this wall, your two quarts. There's your toilet and then your smooth stone slabs kind of curling around. I'm just do No, I know. I, I, the door would have already been facing that way. Stupid. Just like this. So as you can see, you don't have much space in here, but it's enough. I'm gonna stay in the men's now. So, clear everything and get out. White concrete. Smooth stone slabs. White banners. Lever. And I believe that's it. So above the cauldron, place a lever flick down. And on the second row back along this wall, you're gonna wanna place a banner every other block. Just like that. Place three rows of white concrete moving forward in between them, just like that. And on this third block moving up, place the levers flick down. On top of the white concrete, place smooth stone slabs and connect them together, just like that. There are your showers, they're very simple. And also, don't say I copied anyone with them, because I just realized that right now. <clears throat> I'm not going to mention anybody, but I know people are going to scream at me in the comments for it. It happens every video. 
I don't purposely copy people. I'm not that guy. It's I do not plagiarize. <clears throat> I'm dying a little bit, but that's okay. So again, lever above your cauldron, white banners every other block. I wanted to use a different banner design, but I couldn't really find one. And then your white concrete in the middle, your levers. I guess most stone slabs. I like the combo of the white and gray. It just kind of looks good. I need a drink of water. Classic? Have you heard it very often? You totally have. I'm just facing the facts here. <coughs> so. The collector almost scared me. <laughs> almost. He didn't. He almost did. And I have an email. What is that email about? Don't know, nor do I care right now. Okay, now. <coughs> get out stone slabs. Item frames. And snowballs. If you can find a different material that looks more like a medicine ball, like spawn magma cube actually kind of does. At least the medicine balls that I've seen. And you're going to want to leave a... Three block here. I want this to be exact. And that is correct. You don't want to leave a three block gap from the women's bathroom door. And you're going to place three smooth stone slabs, or pardon me, normal stone. And then a block and a half above place more. Place item frames above them with snowballs in them. You can rename the snowballs to medicine balls. Go ahead. Next up, get out block of quartz, quartz stairs, white concrete, and glowstone. How long has this been so far? 27 minutes. Okay. So, leave a four block gap from the um, medicine balls and you're going to place a quartz stair. Place cord stairs just moving up until you are upstairs. You're going to have to obviously break in. And it's going to want to pop up one. Just like that. Under this cord stair, place block of quartz moving down. And then all this should become block of quartz. And just like that. That light is going to be murdered, but that's okay. Now, get out. Oh yeah, you can get rid of your quartz stairs and blocks and get a block of iron. You're going to want to fill the floor with block of iron. Sorry if I'm going fast for you. I am kind of aware of that, but I'm a little bit of a fast talker. Sometimes that bites me because people don't understand what I'm saying. And also I have a weird accent. But hopefully as I grow up, I will grow out of it. Or hopefully not, I don't know. Piece of my personality. And it's always good to have a piece of your personality. From back in the old days. So. What you're going to want to do next is going back to front along the ceiling. Place two glowstone. Two white concrete. Two glowstone. One white concrete, two glowstone, two white concrete, and two glowstone. <coughs> now going across the front place, one glowstone, two white concrete, two glowstone, three white concrete, two glowstone, two white concrete, and two glowstone. Fill in that pattern <coughs> how it should be. Yeah, my apologies. <clears throat> Fortunately, we're almost done, so my throat can last. Because it's not going to last very long. I like how I, I breathe in through my stuffy nose and Skittles jumps. Classic. I have a funny, I guess, not necessarily a joke, but it's funny. 
What do dogs and chinchillas have in common? They're both scared of vacuums. It's true. It really is true. Both Skittle Skittles will hide from a va from the vacuum that we have. I think that should be with a three. Yeah, it should be. <clears throat> okay. Now you're gonna want to get out smooth stone slabs. <coughs> Iron bars. Dark oak sign. And rods. Black concrete and stone stairs. Starting at the front right corner that I am currently in, you can you should be able to see where that is. You can count inwards diagonally by one place a smooth stone slab every other block. And then you're going to place another one moving right. And to the left against the wall, you're going to place two high, well, two high rows of iron bars. And place dark oak signs on the second iron bar's face. This is supposed to be that little screen that the treadmills will have. Well, they do have handles too, but I didn't go that far. Now, I need my photos because I don't know placements at all. You're going to want to come to this corner and count backwards by two and inwards one and place a stone stair. An upside down one. Place another upside down one facing into it. Place two high rows of iron bars to the right and left of that with a black concrete on top of either one. Place an end rod in between. It's not symmetrical, but it's the best you can do. I mean, a too wide one would end up being symmetrical like that. But that'd be big. You're gonna do the same thing in that corner, in this corner. So, do a little something like this with your stairs and your bars and everything. Now, this actually does take up two walls because they're very spacious and the staircase kind of gets in the way. So, you don't want to build another one, leaving a three block, four block gap from the most recent one, just like this. You should see where that is placed. So, right in the center, literally directly in the center. You can also place one on this side if you'd like. I didn't, but I'm gonna. And actually finish this one. Let's finish it first. So that's the bench press, obviously. So yeah, there's four of them. And then, I know more machines are in gyms. But I've never been to a gym, so I don't know. So yeah, add add add, bleh, add anything you believe should be added. <clears throat> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is this video complete. Thank you guys for watching this video, and hopefully you guys did enjoy this video as I save this in the playlist as usual or not. There it is. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.